ハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤハレルヤ The virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, Do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. And all this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. A little boy said to the uncle the first time he saw him after Christmas, Thank you for the electric guitar you gave me for Christmas. It's the best present I ever got. That's great, said his uncle. Do you know how to play it? Oh, I don't play it, the little fellow said. My mom gives me a dollar a day not to play it during the day. And my dad gives me $5 a week not to play it at night. What a great gift. Yes, we all dream about something special gifts we hope to find on Christmas morning. What is the best present to you for Christmas? Yes, Jesus Christ himself who is our savior, a special gift to us. He brought the eternal peace and true light on earth. In a few days, the birthday of Jesus Christ will be celebrated all over the world. It will be celebrated in various ways, in many languages, by people of all races. For a few hours, many in the world will stop talking of conflicts and wars. For a few hours, they will, take, they, they will talk of peace on earth and goodwill toward men. People will exchange gifts and talk about love. Jesus came into the world to save all kinds of people, rich and poor, black and white educated and illiterate, and everyone in between. Since the first Christmas, God has been telling us that he is with us always. No matter who we are, we need Christ. And no matter what we have done, he loves us and stands ready to welcome us. Over a century ago, a man called Philip Brooks was in Jerusalem for Christmas. Later, he spent some time on the hillside looking out toward Bethlehem, 
which is about five miles about five miles south of Jerusalem. He realized that Christ is present not just in the grand church or beautiful liturgies, but wherever Christians gather. Then he composed the familiar carol, O little town of Bethlehem, in thy dark street shine the everlasting light. Our homes and families are like Bethlehem. There is no place too small, too dark, and no life too troubled where the Lord cannot come. Christmas is God's reminder that we are not alone. God has come down from heaven to tell us he loves us. What a wonderful and glorious hope we have because of that first Christmas. Do not be afraid. That's all. With this, repeated again and again by the angel Gabriel, our hope of heaven was born. Angel Gabriel would utter these words again, telling Mary, do not be afraid, for she has found favor with God. After Jesus' birth, these same words would be used to beckon the shepherd to come in from the fields, following the light of the star to adore at the Christ child's manger. These same words are spoken to us each time when we face life's challenges, difficult decisions, or even our own sinfulness. Jesus being born among us means we no longer have to be afraid either to live or to die. No matter what happened, for he is truly Emmanuel. God is with us always. This Christmas message has not changed in 2,000 years. And Christmas still reminds us that God is with us here and now and forever. So let us never forget why Jesus came into the world. It was to save his people from their sins. It was to save you and me, all of us, to give hope and peace. When the Lord comes to us, he himself will fill us with great joy and peace. This eternal peace can never be taken away. Christmas seasons will be passed by quickly, and the decorations come down, and the parties come to finish. But our peace in the Lord never come to an end, because God will be with us always. So his name is Emmanuel. God is among us.